Hey everyone, Dolphin Oracle here today. I got a short little clip for you, a little special. I'm being a proud papa, showing off my boy Alex Oracle's calculus project, uh, his high school calculus project, explaining ancient Greek math mathematician and philosopher Zeno's Achilles paradox. I'll let Alex explain it, but we're talking about a paradox, Achilles, and a turtle. This is Zeno of Elea, a Greek philosopher who lived from around 490 to 230 BC. Zeno is famous for a series of paradoxes, a statement with sound reasoning that leads to an unacceptable conclusion. I will be talking about his Achilles paradox in particular. This paradox deals with a fast runner catching up to a slower runner, which will be Achilles from the Iliad and a talking tortoise, respectively. The tortoise proposes a race to Achilles, but requests a head start of around 10 meters. Achilles agrees with full confidence that he can best to clearly slow a tortoise. However, the tortoise reasons that Achilles can never catch up to him, which I will explain with the following illustration. Here's Achilles, and the tortoise is here, 10 meters ahead of him. By the time Achilles covers this distance, he reasons the tortoise could only have gone about a meter. For convenience sake, we'll assume both runners are at a constant rate, so the tortoise runs at one-tenth the rate of Achilles. When Achilles covers this meter, the tortoise will have covered another one-tenth of a meter. You can probably see where this is going. When he covers this tenth, the tortoise moves a one hundredth of a meter. This goes on and on, with the distance between the two becoming smaller and smaller. But since Achilles always has something to cover, he can never catch the tortoise. Despite sounding rather logical, we know this outcome is anything but correct. People pass others all the time, in cross-country, NASCAR, and even just on the sidewalk. So how did Zeno reach this conclusion, and why does it not apply to reality? First, let's add up all the distances Achilles must cover. There's an infinite amount, but let's try and find a pattern. There's the initial 10 meters, then there's the next 1 meter, and then a tenth, and a one hundredth. This gives us a value of 11.111111 repeating, if we go on forever, otherwise written as 11 and a ninth, which is a finite sum. Here's a distance time graph representation of this matter. We can clearly see the moment Achilles and the tortoise are at the same spot, and that Achilles is ahead of the tortoise after that. But the paradox states that this should never happen, right? Well, Zeno could have made the mistake of believing that all of these infinite little distances would add up to an infinite sum, but we've already shown that this is not the case. Instead, a different solution may be more accurate. What if I told you that the answer was all in time? If we figure out exactly how long it would take to catch up to the tortoise, then we know Achilles would be able to catch it. Let's assume Achilles is running at 5 meters per second. We have the distance, now we need to find the time it takes to cover it. We can do this by dividing the distance by his velocity. Doing this gives us an exact value of 2.2 repeating, or 2 and 2 ninths. The moment that this time is reached, Achilles will be caught up to the tortoise. Time does not slow down the way Zeno makes it appear in his paradox. This is why people can indeed pass each other, and why Achilles would have won his race. Help me bring a proud proper. Give me some thumbs up on this video, and we'll see you next time. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.